Good morning, everyone. So, uh, hey, what's up? It's your girl Shay. And um, this video is a little bit different. As you can see, I'm shooting it more vlog style today. This isn't going to be like my typical video. What I'm actually going to be doing today is uh, trying to organize my bookshelf. Now, not my manga bookshelf. My manga bookshelf is like pretty put together. But my regular like novel bookshelf, not so much. It needs some work. So your girl decided on this lovely Sunday morning, I think it's about, like, what, 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 9 a.m., 8 a.m., I'm real, real, real off today. It's about 8 a.m., 8, 18 a.m. to be precise. And um, I decided why not uh, reorganize my bookshelf. So I have a few ways I want to reorganize it. What I want to do is uh, put nonfiction, fiction books, uh, and journals all together as well as one shelf that has books that I plan to either give away or you know basically give away and books I plan to either not read or plan to not finish. I only have a few books that I plan to put on that actual shelf but yeah that's what my plan is uh, but let me show you what my bookshelf looks like right now so let me turn you all around so it's this one as you can see, it's kind of tucked in the corner, so uh, lighting here should be okay, maybe? But yeah, this is my bookshelf. This is my novel bookshelf. So some books are like behind other books, like on this shelf. Some shelves only have one book or one row or whatever. So we're going to figure out how we're going to do this. But first, I think first and foremost, I have to take down all of my books. But what I plan to do, as far as to make it a little bit more, I guess not congruent even normal I'm gonna turn it all back around I figure out the word that I want to use more organized that's the word more organized is I'll just go shelf by shelf and then sort it shelf by shelf by what shelf I want these books to go on like if they're nonfiction fiction as well as um, books I plan to give away or plans books I plan to uh, not finish or not read at all because there are some books that I bought during a period of time in my life where I was reading a lot of books that I bought thinking I was going to read them and then I ended up not reading them sorry I want to make sure I don't kick over my coffee because it's sitting on the floor and um, I'm also going to put books that are like um, self-help books or books that are a part of like uh, educational materials those as well into nonfiction as well because my fiance has a, quite a few different books that are like for education like learning Korean learning Japanese for poetry and stuff like that and I have a lot more books that are related to like self-help and stuff like that or a few books like that as well uh, but I also mostly just want to do this to add in or mostly just to see number one if I have space for any new books if I want to go to the bookstore and also number two just so that some of the books I have that are series are together because some of them are just spread haphazardly among the shelf and I have to find like book number three whereas I can only find number four um, I as well know that I'm going to group some books that I have that are like comic books and also magazines looped in as well with those education materials or just looped in with my journals because I have quite a few journals on my bookshelf too so let's get started with this and I'll tell you guys as I uh, sort through all of this. I'll probably set you guys up on my little ottoman because I don't plan to use my big tripod today. I hope. But for now, let's start out with uh, taking these books down and sorting them. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. I'm also going to turn on a podcast. I'm going to listen to Ghoul Intentions, one of my favorite spooky podcasts. It's done by Jamie Markey and J. Michael Tatum. So if you don't know who they are, they are fabulous voice actors. And I love listening to their podcast. It's kind of the uh, great combination of both spooky and comedic, but also so much fun. And I actually got a story that was actually read by them a few weeks ago. So I forgot which Ghosticles it is, uh, but it's the one that came out right. It's the last episode for the end of 2020 and my stories on there so yeah check that out but yeah first let's get started uh with this here so yeah let's take down that first bookshelf
shelf one has been taken down and uh check out all this check out all these books this is just one shelf just one sorry it's not focusing but yeah just one shelf check this out this is one shelf dear lord just one okay time to sort okay so i actually made quite a bit of progress i actually took down three of my shelves i think so far so far i'm gonna stand up show you guys all the books and notebooks and everything that i took down with this there are all the books and notebooks i took down so far here's the shelf i gonna wipe it down because there's, there's quite a bit of dust i think it's time for me to start putting up a lot of these books now in on the bookshelf but i do want to show you these because i don't know if a lot of people have ever seen these on my bookshelf so my brother for a period of time and me we were both huge into simpsons and we had a lot of simpsons comic books if you're watching this my brother i still have them <laughs> these are them we have about one two three four five of them one's missing a back cover but we have about five of them i used to read these all the time as a kid and i still love reading them Although I haven't read them in a, long, really, in a really long time, so hopefully I maybe will read them again at some point. But yeah, I think it's time for me to start putting some of these books up. I'm going to put probably on the first shelf any books that are um, uh, like nonfiction or are uh, like uh, study material kind of books. I think those are all going to go on my first shelf and I'm probably going to double stack it and I'll probably show you guys once I finish. Uh, I apologize if I'm not able to really show you guys. Actually, I might adjust. Lighting may not be as great. I'm trying. Does that even work? Eh, it works somewhat. So yeah, let's start uh, putting up some of these books, uh, but first, uh, let me wipe down some of these shelves. Be back. getting a little sweaty but uh i've made a lot of progress i know last time you guys saw me i was putting books on the first two rows well now i've actually moved on to moving a lot of my fiction books around so let me show you guys what i have because there was something that i realized just would not fit so i'm gonna turn this around so i put a lot of my some not all of my journals and some of my nonfiction books up here that excuse me up here that we're able to fit so these first two shelves here this one and this one are a lot shorter so i realized i was kind of um limited with what books i could put there but i ended up making it work so what i did was i put a lot of my other nonfiction books sideways and yes i have two copies of Lily Singh's book one of them is signed one of them is not that is why i have two copies i actually have it also on audiobook as well so I have a lot of my books here. Some of my journals are here. Some of them are also up here that were able to fit. Dictionaries, stuff like that, all up here. My Bibles, all of that up here. 
Then I moved on to fiction. So fiction, the main thing was that I really wanted to have books that were in order. So some of them I'm missing the first one. Like my mom actually has the first one of the PS I Still Love You or To All The Boys I Love Before series. These ones are all different sizes because I bought some of them in paperback, some of them in hardback. This one I have read the third one. I just have it on, on um, what's it called? Uh, digital. And then some books I'm just completely missing some. But this is kind of like where I'm at right now. And in this last shelf, I'm putting books that I haven't read yet, but I want to read. So there are books that I still need to, like my TBR basically, this is what is going to go here. As well as also like my magazines and any um, other notebooks that just wouldn't fit because it's taller here. So that's what I plan to do here. And I also have a stack of books here of books that I plan to give away, to, uh, like get rid of their books basically that I bought and never read and books that I actually don't plan to ever read at this point so I still have a few books to put up this is a book I'm currently reading right here Paradise Island um, and then these are all of my journals and magazines and that is actually a picture album there and I'm gonna put up these two uh, book stands wherever I have books that I could like potentially fall over um, but yeah that is where I'm at right now. I might switch this row around to put the bigger ones in the back because I put all my small books in the back. So I might actually put switch this around. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. Let me finish this up and then I will get back to you guys with the basically the finished product. And I apologize for not like showing you guys as I put up a lot of the books, mostly because uh, the lighting over here isn't great and I was getting hot and the battery was going to die. So. Um, but yeah, let me get back to you guys in a minute. I'm just going to switch this row around. I don't like that the tall books are in the front and the small books are in the back. So yeah, I'm going to switch that around. So uh, give me a few minutes and I'll finish this up and then I'll show you guys the finished part. Whew, I am so, <laughs> sorry, I am so shiny right now because I am a little bit hot, sweating a little bit, but I'm finally finished. And uh, yeah, let's, let's take a look at my newly redone, kind of nice bookshelf let's see let's see what it looks like look at that ignore these I don't know how to put them up and then so far up here you have all my journals that were able to fit nonfiction books like chicken soup for the soul my bible stuff like that here's also some more of my nonfiction books some study materials like I said I had to stack these this way so that they would be able to fit here is all of my fiction books like I told you guys in the last clip I did switch this around so I put the tall books back here short books here in the front and then here is more fiction books that I have um, I put them more in an order except for these I don't know what order they're supposed to go in probably figure that out later because some of my comic books here like my uh, Simpson ones as well as other little ones that I've got there this is a book I'm currently reading so I'll put that there and then here is all the books on this side that I plan to read at some point and books that I haven't read yet. These books that are haphazardly thrown into this small corner are books that I plan to give away or donate and or books I plan not to finish. As you can see, I have two mangas here, which I will... Uh, explain in another video as far as like why I'm getting rid of them as well as this one here there's another one there I don't know where the first one is I think the first one I already gave away because I didn't like it but that's the second one but I will explain in another video like why there are some mangas among this that I plan to not finish I also added in some of my notebooks that were too tall to fit at the top but yeah overall let's take a step back show y'all what this looks like oh, shit almost tripped on my old couch but yeah this is what it looks like definitely at least to me at least it looks a lot neater and it shows that I do have room to put more books especially once I get rid of those I do have room to put more books if need be but yeah I feel like now it looks nice just like how this one looks nice I feel like this also looks nice and not as haphazardly thrown around and stuff like that so that's pretty much me putting on my bookshelf or putting up my books again on my bookshelf 
Uh, I know it wasn't a whole lot that I was able to show you guys. Like I said, my bookshelf is precariously placed in the corner, so the lighting is not that great. But I hope you guys did enjoy me restraining my bookshelf up. Like I said, nonfiction and journal materials or nonfiction and like study materials are at the top. Middle is most of my fiction books. Bottom is books that I plan to still read that I have not read yet, as well as books that I plan to give away or that I plan to not finish. Um, I actually didn't realize this was something I needed to do for a really long time. I own a lot of books and I own a lot of books that I have not read yet. I own a lot of books that I don't plan to read and I felt like this was something I needed to be done. So I'm glad that I actually got rid of a lot, to me at least, a lot of books. I do have more books, but all those books are at my mom's house, so I don't have to go through those yet. But the books that I currently do have, I'm glad that I went through them. I'm glad I went through and got rid of some of them that I know that I didn't need anymore. Because some of the books I definitely like looked on a bookshelf and was like, I'm never going to read this. Why do I have this? I need to give these books away. So I'm really glad that I was able to do that. But yeah, that's pretty much my video. Hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed me uh, reorganizing my bookshelf. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, sweat that went into this. I'm so hot right now. I'm going to turn my air conditioning in. And it's like 9 a.m. or 10. I don't even know what time it is right now. It's 9.30. So it took me about an hour to get all this together. But yeah, that's what I have. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My arms are getting tired from holding the camera. Um, but yeah, I have a new video off for you guys too. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. And of course, please subscribe if you haven't already. I have a new video out of you guys on Saturday. I'm going to make it sometime something more Valentine's Day themed since Valentine's Day would be that next day when, this, when that video comes out on Sunday. So I plan to do something Valentine's Day related. Let me know what you guys would like to see. Maybe my favorite, like like anime crushes maybe i don't know maybe i'll do something like that or maybe my most recent ones i don't know we'll figure this out let me know what you guys think and uh yeah so like i always tell you guys stay positive stay nerdy in today's day and age stay healthy and of course please stay safe all right you guys bye